शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य ब्रह्म नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादि गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदानेश्वरी वृषभानु सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चीर नरोत्तम सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुधीर बोलो श्री राधे गुरुकानंद भगवान की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय हरे कृष्णा एवरीवन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा सचिन हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा शुरू करे कैंटो फोर एंड यू आर रीडिंग श्लोक इलेवन एंड सो वॉट वी आर रीडिंग राइट नाउ इज अबाउट किंग पृथु एंड as we know how king prithu appeared right all the sages all the rishi munis yeah <clears throat> they churn the churn the hands of king ven yeah the king ven who was not that great a king right had a lot of inauspicious things going on so the sages thinking for the good of the people you know they they first took him out then they churned his legs and we know that you know that was just to purify everything and then they churned the hands of king ven and so there appeared king prithu and archi who are supposed to be the anshik avatar of lord vishnu and and goddess lakshmi yeah so <clears throat> you know we were reading last week that king prithu was born of the dead body of king ven as fire is produced from arani wood the king prithu will always remain just like fire and his enemies will not be able to approach him indeed he will be unbearable to his enemies for although staying very near to him they will never be able to approach him but will have to remain as if far away no one will be able to overcome the strength of king prithu so like this king prithu's <clears throat> glorification is being done right and do you know who was doing the glorification of king prithu do you remember hari krishna jyoti hari krishna gaje krishna so it's mentioned that the professional reciters and whose name was sut magad and vandi right if you remember in one of the previous shlokas so sut magad and vandi they were the professional reciters who came and they started glorifying king prithu and then we know in the last chapter we read king prithu did not really like that he said that you know he hasn't done anything yet why are you glorifying me so much and after saying all that the professional reciters right sut magad and vandi they again they said like this is what has been instructed to them by the sages because as they understand king prithu is none other than anshik avatar of lord vishnu himself and so they started glorifying king prithu again right 
So what we are reading right now is the glorification of King Prithu. Yeah. So we'll continue to read that. And Shlok 12, Anilji. Antar Bhayashya Bhutanam Pashyan Karmani Karneha Udasina Yavadyaksho Vayurat Meva Dehinam King Prithu will be able to see all the internal and external activities of every one of his citizens. No one will be able to know his system of espionage, and he himself will remain neutral regarding all matters of glorification or vilification paid to him. He will be exactly like a life force within the body, which is exhibited internally and externally, but is always neutral to all affairs. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. And then, so like this, they are continuously glorifying King Prithu. And then if you remember, all the, uh, all the devatas, right? And including Lord Brahma Vishnu Mahesh, they came and they gave some specific gift to King Prithu, right? Like including Lord Vishnu who gave like kind of Sudarshan Chakra, right? Lord Brahma gave something, Lord Shiva gave something. All the devatas, including Lord Indra, Vayu, Agni, everyone gave some specific gift to King Prithu. Right? So he's so powerful. <clears throat> Sachin? Madanyam Dandya Yatesha Sutta Matmam Vishamapi Danda Yatya Yatyatmaja Mapi Dandyam Dharma Pathe Stitha. Since this king will always remain on the path of piety, piety, he will be neutral to both his son and the son of his enemy. If the son of his enemy is not punishable, he will not punish him. But if his own son is punishable, he will immediately punish him. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right? Of course, like King Prithu will follow the right dharma of ruling. Right? Haru? Asya Pratihatam Chakram Pratorama Raman Sachalataha Vartate Bhagwan Kro Yavatit Pati Goganena. Just as a sun god expands his shining rays up to the Arctic region without impedance, the influence of King Prithu will cover all tracts of land up to the Arctic region and will remain undisturbed as long as he lives. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so what is being announced is to the Arctic region without impedance, right? So not just like we know this, right? Those kings, as we saw from Dhru Maharaj and even King Uttanpad, they were the kings of the whole planet, right? The whole Earth planet. So we don't really know how everything has happened, right? We have probably lost the history in between. But as we can see in Srimad Bhagavatam itself, it's being mentioned. Uh, yeah, Asya Pratihatam Chakram Prithu Raman Sachlat, right? And it's like the influence of King Prithu will cover all tracts of land up to the Arctic region. Yeah, he's already mentioned in Srimad Bhagavatam. Yeah. <clears throat> Jyoti? Yes, yes. Um, Ranji Shyati Yalokama Yanatma Vijeshtitaihi Ata Mohoho Rajanam Mano Ranjanakahi Rajaha. The king will please everyone by his practical activities, and all his citizens will remain very satisfied. Because of this, the citizens will take great satisfaction in accepting him as their ruling king. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So he'll be popular among the masses. Uh, Anilji? Gada Brataha Sat Sandho Brahmanyom Bradha Sevakaha Saranyaha Sarabhutanam Manado Dina Vatsalaha The king will be firmly determined and always situated in truth. He will be a lover of the Brahminical culture and will render all service to old men and give 
shelter to all surrendered souls, giving respect to all. He will always be merciful to the poor and innocent. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so see how a great king is described, right? Will be firmly determined. Vid Vrita hai. Satya Sandhu, right? Always situated in truth. And then Brahmanyu, he will be a lover of the Brahmanical culture, right? And that is what will emanate all these great qualities in him, right? With the Sevaka, will render all service to old men, give shelter to all surrendered souls, right? So all surrendered souls are the transcendental uh, devotees, right? Sharanya has Sarva Bhutanam and Deen Vatsala, right? Will be merciful to the poor and innocent. So that's how King Prithu is, is being uh, described. Matri Bhakti hai paristri shu patnya mardha ivatmana rajasu pitra vatsinidha hai king karo brahma vadinam. The king will respect all women as if they were his own mother, and he will treat his own wife as the other half of his body. He will be just like an affectionate father to his citizens, and he will treat himself as the most obedient servant of the devotees who always preach the glories of the Lord. Yeah, the great king will treat himself as the most obedient servant of all the devotees who always preaches the glories of the Lord. Yeah, and nice purpose. So let's uh, read this. Uh, Tarun. A learned man treats all women except his wife as his mother, looks on others' property as garbage in the street, and treats others as he would treat his own self. These are the symptoms of a learned person as described by Chanakya Pandita. This should be the standard for education. Education does not mean having academic degrees only. One should execute what he has learned in his personal life. These learned characteristics were verily manifest in the life of King Prithu. Although he was a king, he treated himself as a servant of the Lord's devotees. According to Vedic etiquette, if a devotee came to a king's palace, the king would immediately offer his own seat to him. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Sachin? The word Brahma Vadinam is very significant. Brahma Vadinam. Brahma Vadi, Brahma Vadi means refers to the devotees of Lord Brahma. Uh, Paramatma and Bhagwan are different. Brahma, Paramatma, and Bhagwan are different terms for the Supreme Brahma. And the Supreme Brahma is Lord Krishna. This is accepted in Bhagavad Gita 10.12 by Arjuna. Param Brahma, Param Dhamma. Thus, the word Brahma Vadinam refers to the devotees of the Lord. The state should the state should always serve the devotees of the Lord and the ideal state should conduct itself according to the instructions of the devotee. Because King Prithu followed this principle, he is highly praised. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Anilji? Yeah. Jai Hinam Atma Vat Prestaha Suhardam Nandi Vardhanaha Mukt Sang Prasango Yaha Sango Yam the king will consider all embodied living entities as dear as his own self, and he will always be increasing the pleasure of his friend. He will intimately associate with liberated persons, and he will be a chastising hand to all impious persons. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so the king Prithu will ultimately, in, intimately associate with liberated person. Yeah. It says here, Mukta Sang Prasangoya. Yeah. Yeah. And if you read this, uh, Jyoti. The word Dehi Nam refers to those who are embodied. The living entities are embodied in different forms, which number. 8,400,000 species, all of these were treated by the king in the same way he would treat himself. In this age, however, so-called kings and presidents do not treat all other living entities as their own self. Most of them are meat eaters, and even though 
They may not be meat eaters and may force themselves to be very religious and pious. They still allow house slaughter within their state. Such sinful heads of state cannot actually be popular at any time. Another significant word in this verse is Mukta Sangha Prasanga, which indicates that the king was always associating with liberated persons. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so this is how the king Prithu's qualities are being uh, described. Yeah. Uh, Hare Krishna, Rinaji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna. You asking me to read? Yes. Okay. I am to Sakshat Bhagavad. Bhagavan Sreya Disha Kutest Atma Kalya Vatirna. Yasmin Vidya Rachitam Nirtakam Pashanti Nana Swamapi Pratitam. This king is the master of the three worlds, and he is directly empowered by the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He is without change, and he is an incarnation of the Supreme known as Shaktaves, Shaktaves Avatar. Being a liberated soul and completely learned, he sees all material varieties as meaningless because their basic principle is nations. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. The king is the master of the three worlds, King Pithu. And of course, as we know, he is an incarnation of the supreme personality, right? Known as Kalayao Tirana. Yeah. Sachin? Kaviro Naradeva Natha Asthaya Jaitram Rathamat Chapa Paryasyate Dakshinato Yatharka. This king, being uniquely powerful and heroic, uh, will have no competitor. He will travel around the globe on his victorious chariot, holding his invincible bow in his hand and appearing exactly like the sun, which rotates in its own orbit from the south. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So that's how King Prithvi is being glorified. Yeah. Jyoti. Asmai Rupalaha Kila Tatra Tatra Balin Harishyanti Saloka Palaha Mam Santa Yesham Sviya Adi Rajam. Adira Adi Rajam Vaka Yutam Tadrusha Udvarantaha. When the king travels all over the world, other kings as well as the demigods will offer him all kinds of presentation. Their queens will also consider him the original king who carries in his hands the emblems of club and disc and will sink of his fame, for he will be reputable as the Supreme Personality of God. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, say look, Pala hai, is how King Prithu will be. I know. Yeah, Taru? I am Mahiga Dudu Hed Virajaha Prajapati Brati Karaha Raja Nama Yo Lil Yadrina Swashara Sakoshtabhi Nandanam Samagama Karodha Yendraya. This king, this protector of the citizens, is an extraordinary king and is equal to the Prajapati demigods. For the living facility of all citizens, he will milk the earth, which is like a cow. Not only that, but he will level the surface of the earth with the pointed ends of his bow, breaking all the hills exactly as King Indra, the heavenly king, breaks mountains with his powerful thunderbolt. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yada 
तमाम विश्व घुमाज तदा बैटर All demonic rope and things will hide themselves in all directions. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Anilji. Kesho Ashmedanch Shat Majhar Saraswati Pradur Bhaviyatra Ahar Shi Dasya Hayam Purandarha Shat Kratus Kratus Charme Vartamane At the source of the river Saraswati. This king will perform 100 sacrifices known as Ashtamoeda. In the course of the last sacrifice, the heavenly king Indra will steal the sacrificial horse. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, like we always we know about Ashtamoeda Yagya, right? And that will be performed by King Prithu as well. Yeah. Sachin. आराध्य यतो ब्रह्म परम विदंती द किंग पृथु विल मीट सनत कुमार वन ऑफ द फोर कुमार इन द गार्डन ऑफ हिस्स पैलेस कंपाउंड The king will worship him with devotion and will be fortunate to receive instructions by which one can enjoy transcendental bliss. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the important part mentioned is the king Prithu will get the instructions by none other than the Sanat Kumar. Yeah. The transcendental bliss. Aradhi, bhaktal bhatamalam tattu gyanam yato brahma param vidanti. Yeah. तत्र तत्र इति विश्रुत विक्रम है सोश्यत्मा आत्मा श्रिता गाता है पृथु है पृथु पराक्रम है इन दिस वे वेन द चिवेलरश एक्टिविटीज ऑफ किंग पृथु केम टू बी नोन टू द पीपल इन जनरल किंग पृथु विल ऑलवेज हियर अबाउट हिमसेल्फ एंड इज यूनिकली पावरफुल एक्टिविटीज या सो इज कंटिन्यूसली बी ग्लोरिफाइड रीना जी वर्ल्ड At that time, both the suras and the asuras will undoubtedly glorify his magnanimous activities. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. And so, you know, this is how King Prithu is glorified, and this ends the Bhakti Ananta purpose of the fourth canto, sixteenth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavatam, entitled "Praise of King Prithu by the Professional Reciters." ज्योति महाराजा Chivalrous activities. At the end, Maharaja Prithu offered them various 
presentations with all due respect and worship them adequately. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So the great sage Maitreya continued and Maitreya Muni is, is speaking all this to whom? Mahatma Vidur. Mahatma Vidur, right? So we remember that, right? Like how uh, how Mahatma Vidur met Maitreya Muni, right? And asking all these questions. And Mahatma Vidur has now asked about uh, descendants of Dhru Maharaj. He specifically asked about King Vain and then what happened after that. So that's what Maitreya Muni is describing to Mahatma Vidur. And this whole thing is being told by Sudh Goswami. Yeah, if you remember, Sudh Goswami is telling all this at Nemi Saranya to all the Mahatmas who is led by, who is the topmost Rishi there? Remember the name? Yeah, Shonak Muni, you remember, right? So Sudh Goswami Maharaj is reciting the whole Srimad Bhagavatam to all the Rishi Munis headed by Shonak Muni. Yeah. And why is Sudh Goswami uniquely qualified to do that? He remembers all the 18,000 shlokas because he was present when Sukhdev Goswami ji was reciting Srimad Bhagavatam to Parikshit Maharaj. Yeah. If you remember, Parikshit Maharaj only had seven days in this world, physical world. And so to get him moksha, Sukhdev Goswami ji himself, who is none other than son of Whose, whose son is Sukhdev Goswami ji? Remember? Yeah, um, Vedvyas? Vedvyas ji, yeah. So Sukhdev Goswami ji is son of none other than Vedvyas ji, who has written all the, who has compiled all the Vedas and Purans and then compiled Srimad Bhagavatam. And who instructed Vedvyas ji about Srimad Bhagavatam? Who asked him to compile Srimad Bhagavatam and gave all the knowledge about Srimad Bhagavatam to Ved Vyaji? Parikshit Maharaj? No. Uh, Parikshit Maharaj, Sukhdev Goswami is reciting it to Parikshit Maharaj. Oh, okay. Sukhdev Goswami is son of Ved Vyaji, right? Who has written all the Vedas and all that. And Ved Vyaji, Narad Muni himself, right? If you remember, Narad Muni gave this knowledge to Vedvyasji. And then, of course, Lord Brahma gave it to Narad Muni. And Lord Brahma got it from Lord Vishnu. Yeah. So, this is how the whole Srimad Bhagavatam. That's why it's mentioned that Srimad Bhagavatam is the original scripture. Right. It has come from the Supreme Lord himself. So, all right. So, just coming back to King Prithu, basically, Maitre Muni is reciting this to Mahatma Vidur and is telling Mahatma Vidur that this is how Maharaja. Maharaj Prithu was glorified. Yeah. Tarun? <clears throat> Brahmana Pramukhan Varnan Varnana Pratam Dutya Maya Purodhaseha Poran Jana Padan Shinihe Prakriti Sam Pujayataha. King Prudhutha satisfied and offered all respect of, to all the leaders all the leaders of the Brahmanas and other castes to his servants, to his ministers and to the priests, citizens, general countrymen, people from other communities, admirers and others. And thus they all became happy. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. Rinaji? Vidur Vaj. Kasma Dadhara Guru Pam Bharatri Bharu Bhani. Yam Dadoha Pitu Patra Kumavatso Dohanam Chakim. Vidur inquired from the great sage Maitre, my dear Brahman, since Mother Earth can appear in different shapes. Why did she take the shape of a cow? And when King Prithu milked her, who became the cow and what was the milking pot? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah, so it is also mentioned that the 
prithvi yeah became go rupam yeah a cow's rupam uh, and that's what mahatma vidur now wants to know from uh, rishi metreya right that it, that dharitri bahu rupini right mother earth can appear in different shapes so why she became like a cow and that who milked her is what mahatma vidur is asking yeah <clears throat> jyoti And Jyoti? Shma Devi Krita Tena Samakatam Tasya Me Madhyam Payam Devaha Kasya Eto Raha Paharatam. The surface of the earth is by nature low in some places and high in others. How did King Rutu? level the surface of the earth and why did the king of heaven Indra steal the horse meant for the sacrifice? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So why the king of heaven Indra is still the horse meant for the sacrifice? As we know, the last horse was stolen by king Indra. I mean, the, Lord, the demigod Indra. So, Sachin? The great saintly king Maharaj Prithu received knowledge from Sanat Kumara, who was the greatest Vedic scholar. After receiving knowledge to be applied practically in his life, how did the saintly king attain his desired destination? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, how did King Prithu attain his desired destination? So, that's what we will be uh, reading. Yeah. Anilji? Sanya Dapi Krishna Sya Bhavan Bhagavata Prabhu Shravaha Shushravasaha Purnyam Purva Deha Kathashrayam Bhaktaya Menu Raktaya Tava Chado Jasyacha Bhakta Mahisi, you go in, go in the rope and a gami, ma'am. Prothu Maharaj was a powerful incarnation of Lord Krishna's potencies. Consequently, any narration concerning his activities is surely very pleasing to hear, and it produces all good fortune. As far as I am concerned, I am always your devotee, as well as the devotee of the Lord, who is known as Go. Okay. Please, therefore, narrate all the stories of King Prithu, who, in the form of the son of King Ben, milked the cow shaped earth. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So, who is speaking this right now? Mahatma Vidur, right? He's asking this question to. Uh, to Maitreya Muni, right? So, and he's saying that Prithu Maharaj was a powerful incarnation of Lord Krishna's potencies, yeah? Says here, Krishna Shya Bhavana Bhagavata Prabhu, yeah? And so, then he's asking, and he's saying, I am always your devotee, which is Mahatma Vidu, devotee of uh, Maitreya Muni, and as well as devotees of the Lord, yeah? And of course, the Lord also is known as Adokshas, and so he's saying, please narrate all the stories of King Prithu. So uh, that's what uh, Mahatma Yadu is asking to, to Maitre Muni to narrate all this. Yeah. So nice purport. Let's read this uh, Tarun. Uh, you able to read Tarun? Or? Yeah, yeah. Lord Krishna is also known as Avatari, which means one from whom all the incarnations emanate. In Bhagavad Gita 10.8, Lord Krishna says, Aham sarvasya prabhavo mataha sarvam pravartate. I am the source of all spiritual and material worlds. Everything emanates from me. Thus, Lord Krishna is the origin of everyone's appearance. As far as this material 
world is concerned lord brahma lord vishnu and lord shiva are all emanations from krishna these three incarnations of krishna are called guna avtaras the material world is governed by three material modes of nature and lord vishnu lord brahma and lord shiva respectively take charge of the modes of goodness passion and ignorance maharaj prithu is also an incarnation of the those qualities of lord krishna by which one rules over conditioned souls hare krishna hare krishna yeah so first of all it's mentioned yeah that prithu maharaj is a powerful incarnation of lord krishna's potencies yeah krishna sya bhavan bhagavata prabho and then again i mean this is we read about this already right and what is this saying is lord krishna of course in bhagavad gita aham sarvasya prabhau mata sarvam parvartate so this is what lord krishna himself is saying in bhagavad gita that he is the source of all spiritual and material worlds both right spiritual and material worlds everything emanates from me is supreme personality of god and lord krishna right and then we also read about how from lord krishna we have karna dakshay vishnu then garbo dakshay vishnu right and from garbo dakshay vishnu how we have shiro dakshay vishnu and lord brahma vishnu mahesh in each of the universes because there are innumerable number of universes and each of the universe we have lord brahma vishnu and mahesh and it's mentioned the world the materialistic world is kind of governed by the three material modes of nature as we know right the satogun tamogun and rajogun and all these three gunas are managed by vish lord brahma vishnu mahesh yeah they take charge of modes of goodness passion and ignorance and it's also mentioned maharaj prithu is also an incarnation of those qualities of lord krishna by which one rules over conditioned souls yeah prina ji in this words the word adok 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 sya adok sya meaning beyond the perception of the material senses sorry about that it's very significant no one can perceive the supreme personality of god head by mental speculation therefore a person with a poor fund of knowledge cannot understand the supreme personality of god head since one can form only one, an impersonal idea on on the strength of one's material senses the lord is known in as adokshaja hare krishna hare krishna yeah thank you so ado as we have, and we have read this in many many shlokas right the supreme personality of god that is referred as adokshaja yeah adokshaja is beyond the perception of the material senses right so all of us have the material senses we know right and the lord is beyond the perception of the those material senses no one can perceive the supreme personality of god by mental speculation so irrespective of how smart and intelligent and uh, you know everyone says the lord is beyond mental speculation so the knowledge is not enough right any kind of knowledge is not enough to understand supreme personality of godhead so what is the mechanism of understanding the lord supreme personality of godhead how can we know about him yeah only by the devotional service right we read in many shlokas that it doesn't matter how much knowledge you have the devotional service is by which slowly and slowly we will realize and understand the supreme personality of godhead and then of course again and again like this again 10.10 in in bhagavad gita 10th chapter 10th shlok is that's where lord krishna himself says that any anyone who is doing bhajatam priti purvakam right who is doing the devotional service dadami buddhi yogam like i will give him the intelligence by which he will understand me and come back to me right so i think that's a pretty significant is what is what is what is being mentioned here so i think we'll pause here and let's uh, do the kirtan which is the devotional service right shravanam kirtanam one of the uh, devotional service is the kirtan so we will hear and that's how we start chanting in the beginning right and we'll do the kirtan and i will see you tomorrow at 10 yeah
So let's hear the kirtan mm -hmm. for six, seven minutes, and then we will.
Krishna, nice chant with a nice bhajan, right? Nice Hare Krishna chanting. Hare Krishna. Hey, Hare Krishna, everyone. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow, 10 p.m. Yeah. See you. Bye. Hare Krishna.